Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be, uh, we're going to go to a comparison with strict equality operator. Strict equality is the triple equals. This is the counterpart to the normal equality. However, unlike the equality operator, which attempts to convert both values being compared to a common type, the strict equality operator does not perform a type conversion. In the, t in the values being compared have different types, they are considered unequal and the strict equality operator will return false. In the, except, in the second example, three is a number type, and three is, uh, yeah, okay, so use the strict equality operator in the if statement so that the function will return equal when the val is uh, strictly equal to seven. So, we just want this to be equal, 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 uh, the integer seven. This should return the tests. Okay, cool. Now, if I was uh, just jumping into JavaScript, I would think that that makes no, no sense. All you want to do is just copy this and, and get it done. But let's like do a little practice. So let's say three is equal to three, the string three. That comes out three. Uh, true. Three is equal to the string three. What do you think this is going to be? It's going to be false. Because what it's doing is here it's converting the string into an integer and saving it. Um, Whereas here, it's, uh, it's, it's making sure, it's saying that this integer three is not equal to the string of three. So um, as a default, it's better to use equal, 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 uh, because generally when you're writing your program, you want to be specific, whereas this allows for some, um, you know, more examples in your code. But uh, that's basically what they're saying. Uh, yeah. If we run this test, we see that it passes. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you in the next lesson.